Hello everybody and welcome back. Thank you for tuning in to another episode on the channel. Uh, my name is Dom and I am the creator of the Android Factory and if you're tuning in for the first time, uh, welcome. And if you're coming from a previous season episode, um, welcome back. Uh, we've covered a whole lot in the past four or so, three or four seasons, um, covering stuff from, you know, uh, Jetpack's navigation, the MVVM architecture, uh, Kotlin. We, in the beginning, we dove deep into uh, views, layouts, understanding core components of the system, understanding how to use the IDE. So if you've missed any of that, uh, there's plenty of content on this channel for it. So feel free to go back and, you know, kind of brush up on or learn about whatever you do not completely understand or maybe you just you know need a little help or interested in learning about something else uh, so that would be much appreciated and then obviously if you've made it this far please just check if you are subscribed that's just the easiest way for me to understand progress with the channel and how content is being received and whatnot and in the past seasons we've created a, a bunch of projects that I'm not going to say they didn't have any purpose or any meaning, but they weren't all that useful on a daily or monthly or weekly basis. Uh, it was kind of just projects to, you know, showcase different areas, different things I wanted to learn, different things or different te different things I wanted to teach um, so that you can learn different things that I kind of wanted to set the foundation for so that we can start to build some applications that are a bit more um, either involved or a bit more useful uh, and just kind of wanted to give everyone uh, you know like an even playing field as far as hopefully at this point if you've watched all the content on the channel you know you should have you shouldn't be lost in what we're about to do um, and then we're going to continue learning and continue growing our Android knowledge on everything that we've learned so far by practicing it uh, more and more and then also you know we're going to introduce some more um, you know concepts or things or uh, libraries or etc uh, so actually in this season, we're going to build a simple to-do app, but things that you need to buy. And I actually find that I'm writing down little notes on actual sheets of paper or putting it in my phone or doing something and, uh, you know, to keep track of what do we need to get at the supermarket? What do we need to get from Amazon? And then you always end up forgetting, right? And you tell yourself you'll remember this uh, for the next time you end up creating, you know, your Amazon order and then you forget. So going to go ahead and create a little bit of an application that will solve that problem uh, and we are going to explore uh, Room which is a, a wrapper around SQLite or SQLite which is the you know standard onboard database for uh, Android applications so uh, we're going to continue off everything that we've learned so far and uh, and, and dive into uh, a new thing here with Room. So without further ado, we got our new project wizard um, you know, window up here. So we're just going to go ahead and we'll just take the empty activity. Uh, we're going to name this to buy instead of to do. Uh, we're in Kotlin again. Yeah, we'll leave it at Android 8. Um, and then we're just going to go ahead and click finish. Once your application has, or your project has finished building, we can go ahead and close our tip of the day. And then uh, before uh, we get into anything code-wise, we are just going to take a look at the um, documentation here. I'll link this in the description uh, for Room. And kind of just talk about it, how we're going to harness it, and then uh, we'll dive into actually setting it up here. So uh, you have your classic, you know, dependencies that you need to import. We'll go ahead and do that. And then this is kind of, I guess, the architecture or the way you can think about uh, what goes on under the hood or what's, what, what's encompassed under the umbrella of Room. Uh, and so it says here there's three major components. You have your database class, which holds all your information about um, the actual database itself. Then you have your data entities that represent tables in your database and at the same time also represent, you know, like the, the structure of things, your, your models, your, um, you know, your, your objects uh, that we'll end up using. And then the data access objects, otherwise known as DAOs, um, that are basically 
the mediator between the data entities and then the database itself. So it's actually how you end up accessing the database to get the objects that you're looking for is through the data access objects. So um, this will make a little bit, or hopefully this isn't too confusing at the moment, and then you know obviously hopefully it'll make a little bit more sense as we dive into some more code here. So um, you can see here a little sample implementation they have. You could very easily change or update a data class to be a room entity by simply adding this annotation. You then need to add your primary key, and then I think these column info tags here are a little bit are, are not necessary to say per, or per se. It's actually just renaming. You know, the column name would normally be first name, uh, and here they're under, they're underscoring it and keeping it all lowercase. So you know, very simple to basically translate a data class into a, a room entity, and then here's a very simple implementation of a DAO. You basically build functions here that are going to either take input, you know, as parameters, or um, you know, give some kind of return type of your entities that you want, and then you can very easily access things with just a query. So you don't have to write too much SQL here. Um, you can get crazy with it, or you can get a little more intense, like this one. Uh, but you know, a very simple like get all is just going to uh, be a very straightforward select statement. So if you're not too well versed in SQL, it's not the end of the world. It's not necessarily the focus of this library or of this tutorial. It's more so how to actually end up, uh, you know, working with the database at uh, at the Android level. Um, and then, you know, your database class, pretty straightforward here. Um, kind of define all your entities that, that exist in the database and you have your version and then you can provide some kind of uh, migration when you update your database and so we'll get into all that stuff in the future here um, but that's basically about it for the simple implementation the uh, imports that you need and everything so I'm gonna go ahead and cut the video here if you are interested in so that it doesn't get too long. Try to keep these short and we will be back in the next episode where we will go ahead and actually um, implement what we've discussed so far. So I will catch you then.